How did you adapt to your new position as chief of police? So the adapt I think adapting was fairly easy. And I think what made it easy is that I've been around for so long that the cops knew me, the community knew me. Many of the roles that I had previous, not only since I came up here in 2010 as a deputy chief, uh, but prior to that I was in community policing. Um, I was a public information officer. So I got to meet people all the time at neighborhood watch meetings, Syracuse United neighbor meetings. And so I was nothing new. I wasn't a new commodity to them or the cops. So I think the adjustment was pretty easy. Um, I had already been doing most of the, the job and I don't want to take anything to get away from Chief Buckner, but I was doing a lot of the job as the first deputy chief, um, behind the scenes stuff. So it was pretty easy to adapt. Um, and, and I'm happy to be here because I think I can make a difference not only in the community, uh, but with the officers as far as wellness and things like that, their health and wellness. Okay, what do you see as challenges facing law enforcement today locally? Simple, uh, staffing. Uh, fewer and fewer people are taking the test. We used to have numbers of 700 people on the civil service test. The last time we pulled a list it was 70. So it is just, it has dropped almost beyond com compar comparison. Nothing like I've ever seen in 38 years. It used to be everybody aspired to this job, took the test, wanted to be officers. Uh, no longer the case. So our biggest challenge is going to be, uh, for many years, getting the numbers on. Uh, Mayor Walsh has just approved his seventh class, um, and he's got three more years left. So he'll continue to approve classes. But just to give you an idea, he approved a class of 35 to 40, and we put a class of four on. And we, we lost 57 people last year to retirements and resignations. When you look at that math, there is no way to catch up. So our biggest struggle is going to continue to be for years and years. How do we make it more appealing to the, the folks that are out there, the young people? Uh, encourage them to take the test. Encourage them to be officers again. It's a noble profession. Um, I always mention that it is the profession other than the military um, that no one can do without. All other jobs are important, no doubt about it, but we are the ones that can never take a minute off or chaos occurs. We can't take a weekend off when many other professions do it. Uh, we have to be there constantly. So it's one, of the, it's one of the most nobles, if not the most noble profession out there. And we just have to work very, very hard to encourage folks to once again see that and begin to take the test and become police officers.